Hey everybody, and welcome to story time! Today, Orange and I will be telling you the story of Dumb Dumb. We think you'll agree, it's pretty fly! <laughs> <laughs> Any particular reason you're holding a bulging suitcase? Yeah! I keep all my elephant puns in here. And please don't call it a suitcase, Pear. It's a trunk. <laughs> uh. Let's get to the story. I think this one will be two tons of fun. <laughs> here goes nothing. Once upon a time, there was a baby elephant who had huge... Jeez! Nah, why do you have to go and point that out? Seems irrelevant. <laughs> it's literally what the entire story is about, dude. See, the baby elephant was born into a traveling <laughs> And all the other circus elephants made fun of him because of his ears and called him Dumb Dumb. Hey, that's the title of the story. You're a sharp one. I'm not sharp, I'm spherical. <laughs> ah, so annoying. I'm not annoying, I'm an orange. <laughs> anyway, Dumbo was always accidentally tripping on his own. When he couldn't do any of his elephant tricks right, Dumbo got demoted to being a clown. Now we're talking. Was he a scary clown? I bet he was a scary clown. He was just a normal clown. The other elephants mocked him mercilessly, but little did they know that one day Dumbo would show them all. Yeah, by becoming a scary clown. No. Yes. No. Yes. He lurked in the night and haunted their dreams. His maniacal cackling drove his tormentors to the brink of insanity. When he drew first blood, they stopped calling him Dumbo and started calling him Rumbo. Yeah, yeah, look at all those explosions. Can you believe this is a G-rated Disney movie? I sure can't. To be fair, a couple details were off in your version. For one thing, he didn't become a scary murder Rambo clown. He just became a sad clown. How cliche. And he didn't get revenge through bloodshed. He got his revenge by discovering his remarkable talents. Yeah, your version sounds good, not great. It's not my version, dude. It's how the story goes. Oh, I almost forgot about my elephant trunk. Hey, hey, Pear, what do you get when you cross an elephant and a rhinoceros? I don't know, Orange. What? Elephino. <laughs> <laughs> yes, very amusing. Speaking of which, back to Clown Dumbo. He was so sad that he wound up getting drunk. And when he woke up, he was sitting in the top of a tree. Remember when Dumbo drinks some water that has champagne in it and gets so wasted that he hallucinates pink elephants and wakes up hungover in a tree? Wait, 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 wait. That's crazy. I know, right? How on earth did an elephant get up in a tree? No, not that. I'm talking about Dumbo getting drunk. Isn't this a Disney movie? Yes, but... Maybe they should have named him Drunko. <laughs> Wait, so there's seriously a scene where Dumbo gets drunk? On champagne or something, yeah. He hallucinates pink elephants on parade. But back to the... Oh, you mentioned he was always tripping because of his big ears, but I didn't know that's what you meant. It isn't what I meant. This calls for another elephant from the trunk. No! Yes! <laughs> anyway... The story ends with Dumbo realizing his huge ears allow him to fly, and he becomes the star of the circus, and everyone who ever made fun of him winds up super sorry. Yeah, because he comes back for the last blood. Yeah. No. It's either this or another pun from the trunk pair. Take your pick. Okay, fine. I pick the Rambo ending. Yeah. The end. Nah. <laughs> <laughs>